What is going on guys, I'm Ethan and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the emblems you need before Beyond Light hits November 10th. So for some context here, if you guys do not know, Bungie is going to be vaulting a bunch of stuff before the new season. Now this includes of course some planets and a bunch of other stuff, I don't remember off the top of my head exactly what, but some of these planets are be going to be going away. I know Titan is for sure, but... There's, there's some context there, and the reason why they're doing this is I'm pretty sure it's for more space in the game, and so they can add more stuff. But let's get into this. So first things first, you want to go into your collections right here, and just check on the open world tab how many emblems you have over here. So as you can see, you know, mainly like these types of emblems right here, you can just look at these, see how many you have, because... If you guys do not know, when these plants go away, you will not be able to get these emblems anymore. So how you get these though, you go to the vendor right here and you basically turn in some materials and you have a good chance of getting an emblem. So I've already gotten all of them for Titan. And if you guys still do not understand too well, these emblems right here, as you can see in their description, complete activities and earn up rank rank up packages on Nessus. So in order to get this emblem, I would have to go turn in some materials on Nessus to, let's see, who who's on Nessus exactly? So I would have to turn it into, we'd have to turn it into the failsafe, right? And then we have a good chance of getting that emblem. And there's no, um, it's not guaranteed you'll get it from opening these. You might need to spend a lot of materials, but for instance, Let's say, let's go to one on Titan. So, okay, so let's just say this, this emblem right here, right? So it says complete activities and earn rank up packages on Saturn's moon Titan. So we would go over here to the vendor and we would walk up to the vendor and be like, okay, let's turn in some materials. And once you turn them in, you will have a good chance of getting the emblem. So that's pretty much it there. And if you, any of you guys think any of these emblems look really good as well, you definitely should go for it. Because these emblems will be going away next season. We do not know, as of right now, if Bungie's going to unvault these plants anytime soon. But for now, these emblems are going to be going away, from what I know right now. And that just doesn't mean, though, the rank of packages emblems are going away as well. Also, the emblems, like this one, for defeating Flashpoint bosses will be going away as well or equipping the full mercury destination set on a warlock just stuff like this will be going away once the planet goes away so if you guys also need some advice on getting materials because you want to go to um, these vendors and turn them in you could go over to spider if you guys do not know and you can turn in some materials or some legendary shards some glimmer and then you can get some materials but that's pretty much going to be it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know before the season ended. Wanted to help you guys out. Make sure you guys get everything you can before things go away. Because who knows? These emblems might be pretty rare in about a few months when none of these planets are here anymore, right? And if Beyond Light does really good, it builds a new player base. You'll be rocking those emblems. No one else will be able to get them. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.